Hi everybody, it's Joni here at Joni's Journals. How are you? We are back again for another Mass Make March. And I have to tell you that I have been having so much fun doing this. I can't even begin to tell you. I have watched the Tim Holtz um, spring ideas video that he put out last weekend and he made these adorable little bunny tags for lack of a better term and he used some of his um snarky well he used the small talk i'm using the big talk but he used some of his snarky uh word stamps and he stamped uh, he put little photos down onto one of his tags. These are not one of his tags. I used an oil and create die that I just got and I made some tags using that. But I did do some of the same techniques as him. And I will show you later. I did do a couple or one on a distress tag. But what he did was he took his um, little photos. Here I used the... Um, not Photoshop, maybe it was the, whatever, it's the little photo portraits that he has. And what he did was he die cut some bunny ears out and he put little bunny ears over the photos and added some of these snarky little comments. For instance, this little boy with his bunny ears, it says, that's a horrible idea. What time? Um, she says, I'm sorry, did I just roll my eyes out loud? Step aside, coffee. This is a job for alcohol. I think my guardian angel drinks. <laughs> so I have just been having fun making these little tags and using the photos from, I think it's photo strips. Okay, I really should have looked before I started this video, but I wanted to get started on it. Um, and this is one... I'm starting to think I will never know better. <laughs> and he has his little bunny ears. And I made one, not bunny related, but just for fun. Um, this is another all and create die that I just got. I had to play with them. And so I made a little fairy boy sitting on a mushroom. And this one says, people who tolerate me on a daily basis, they're the real heroes. And then I knew I owned them, but I just couldn't find them. I dug through my boxes of Tim Holtz stuff, and I found my distress tags. Now, I used a number eight. These are mixed media heavy stock tags. And I dug and I dug, and I said, I know I own them. And I found one of those, and so I made some tags from that. And this is the only one I use. And these are the photomatic photos. And her says, no, I checked my receipt. I didn't buy any of your issues. So yeah, what I did was I went in and I did this on both tags. These I made from watercolor paper and I sprayed them up with my distress spray stains to create some backgrounds. I used um, milled lavender, festive berries, and for a light color, I used antique linen. And then to add just a little bit of green, because it is Easter, I used um, peeled paint. So what I did was I sprayed on the tags, I sprayed on a sheet of cardstock, on the watercolor cardstock, I sprayed ink on them and I got a little bit of a design and then I went over them with one of my stencils. And this particular one, um, had, it reminds me sort of, I know it's a plaid, but it just reminds me kind of like a, a wicker basket. And so what I did was once I had stamped on them, I went over them with that stencil in a different color. Some of them are gray. I did a, a light gray. Some of them I did a um, the pebble beach color. But yeah, that's how I created my little tags. And then I just went to town and I started making. I, I 
I had such a blast making them that I wanted to come along today and I wanted to make some with you. So since I found these and I inked these up, I did the same exact thing. I sprayed the um, Distress Spray Stain on them. And then what you do is you spray on a little water to get the kind of modely effect. And I did one of those, I did four of those in lieu of doing an overly big bunch of them. I did just four of those. And these, I just, I, I just started doing them and I just had to cut out the tags. And I will probably make this into a little tag book. But I thought what I would do is bring you along and make some with you. And so what you'll need if you want to play along um, is the Photomatic Photos. And I am sorry, I didn't um, do any collage medium on any of these. Um, so they are a little bit shiny. Um, maybe I can just bring my light down a little bit and maybe they'll shine less. Yeah, maybe that'll help. And so what I did was this is the Photomatic photo. And I just trimmed off some of the white edges. And I went around like so. Trimmed off a lot of the white. I did keep some of it because I like to see the contrast between the black of the photo and, and the white of the edging. Okay, and then I took my little distress tool and I went around and I distressed the edges a bit. Not too much. I just kind of, you know, roughed them up a little here and there. And that one blade is not working too well. So I got that and I'll just do a little over here on the top. Yeah, I was watching this video. It was when he introduced his new, um, oh gosh, I believe it's called Mr. Rabbit stamp. Um, and then he did these tags toward the end because he was just doing, it was more of a spring idea kind of thing. And of course I went out, I had always resisted doing it, but I went out and I bought some of his little, um, those little rabbits that he has, the little statue kind of things, and the tiny eggs, because as I understand it, this is the last year that they're going to be making them. And so I went, I bought a couple of packages because I said before I regret the fact that I never bought any. I bought two packages of the rabbits, um, and I bought two packages of the tiny eggs, and I said, yeah, well, at least I have them. And I watched some of the techniques that he did with both of those. And I said, I got to try that too. So, okay. So now we have our little photo ready. Okay. I don't know if you can see, I inked around the edges. And then simply what he did was he didn't even glue. He took his little tiny attacher. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can use a regular stapler. Um, I know I have some mini staplers that I bought at the um, Dollar Tree years ago. Um, and you can use that because the staples are, believe it or not, exactly the same size. And so, yeah, he stapled the photo on, which is what I did. And I did that on this one, too. And then I die cut out some bunnies. I can't remember the name of the die that I used, but I will list it in the description box below and you can uh, click on the word more and that will bring you to the area where that is and all we need from our little bunny I know it's sad we're going to end up cutting his ears off I know that's terrible but you take I he used a watercolor pencil which is what I'm using and he just put a little smudge of pink inside the middles of the ears to give it just a little bit of color, like so. You can see that, maybe. And I already inked around the edges of the ears. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the little ears, like that. And I've done so many of these. So I'm keeping the bodies. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them, but I am keeping the bodies. So the bunny is not going to go to waste. Now, where did I put them? Okay, I'm going to use my reverse tweezers here because we've inked around the edges. And now what we need to do is just put a little ink on the bottom edge where we cut the, the ear off of the bunny. And now I'm just going to figure out where I want to place the ears on her. 
like so, and I'll grab my glue. And he used his Xyron, of course, and made all his little bunny ears stickers, which makes it, I guess, a lot easier or a lot quicker to do it that way than to do it like this. But I don't have a Xyron. I don't have anything that's going to make stickers. So I've just been gluing my little ears on. And we'll grab the other ear. Oh, will we? Yes, we will. I'm going to grab the other little ear. And I'm going to ink the part where we cut it off from the top of the head. I'm going to figure out where I want to put the other little bunny ear. And I think that that'll be a good place for it. And I'm just going to add some glue here like that. And then I think I'm going to put the other little ear right about there. Okay. And as soon as I saw him doing this, I jumped and I grabbed out my stamps, which you'll know I used some of my Diane Reevely stamps for our little mass make. Oop, I am so sorry. I always manage to hit you even though I'm trying not to. Um, my Diane Reedley stamps that I had taken out for um, the little arty, artsy um, tags that we made in our last mass make. But I am going to use these. These are pretty funny. And so I've been trying to find the smaller uh, words out of here that because some of them are rather large comments and they do come in black and white. And I think what we're going to put on hers is we are going to put, everyone was thinking it, I just said it. And so what I've been doing, I've been cutting them down. I mean, there's nothing that says you can't do that. And so I've been trimming them all around. And so I'm just going to give this one a little, a little cut around and try to make it a little bit smaller and a little bit easier for us to work with in the space that we have on our tag. And then I cut apart the words so that they will fit. And I try to cut them so that it still makes sense. And so let's see, let's just cut these two lines of verbiage apart. And we have Let's get that apart there without cutting our letters too small. All right, everyone was, I think we can do that. Everyone was thinking, hmm, I'm just going to do, hmm, can I fit that? Yeah, that'll fit. All right, I'm just going to ink around the edges of my words like that, like so. And then I'm going to glue it down to the tag. And so, yeah, I just, I was having so much fun making these. I actually sat and die cut out 18 little rabbits. Okay, everyone was thinking, see, that fit perfectly. Oh, and I might just put it by itself. Everyone was thinking, no, you know what? It. I just said it. Yeah, you know what? We're going to leave that. I, I am so surprised. I have had to cut most of these phrases apart. Well, I guess that there's a little bit more space on the distress tags than was on the tags that I made um, with the all and create die. Okay, yeah, this fits perfectly. I'm just going to ink the edge of this one like so. But I got carried away. I just, I didn't feel well yesterday, which was Saturday, because I am still getting over bronchitis. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to sit and have fun. Okay. There we go. Everyone was thinking it. I just said it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> how funny is that? These are just so silly. And now you can see perhaps why I was having so much fun with them. Okay, let's take this one. And I do have another guy pulled out here. And I'm just going to, I didn't pop out all the little holes in some of these die cuts. I'm just going to do that before we get started. 
And I wanted this to be quick and easy. So what I did was, as I said, I explained to you how I did the inking of the tags. Um, and yeah, and, and got them all set and ready. And once I had stenciled it, I did ink around all of the edges of the tags, but I didn't sit and pop all the little, let's just see, did we get all the little holes out? Yeah, we did. I didn't sit and pop all of the little holes out. Now I had pulled out this guy too. I was trying to find faces that were kind of funny, you know, not funny looking in any means of the word, but like we're smiling or we're happy um, because some of the sentiments are kind of silly and when you say them, you know you're going to laugh out loud. So I tried to get some that were laughing. I did take a couple out, like you saw, that had an attitude um, or look like they were miserable or, or whatever. Um, because I did, a lot of these comments are so snarky that um, um, you, you kind of need a person that looks like he or she's a little bit miserable or just feeling a little bit... Uh, like a bit of a smarty pants. And so, yeah, I, I took out some of those too. All right, we're just gonna rough up the edges on him. I think it's time for a new distress tool because not every one of these blades really works anymore. And I'm pretty sure that they must wear out after a while. I've had this for a long, long time. Okay, we've kind of roughed up the edges of that photo. So now I'm just gonna take um, my scorched timber here and I am just going to ink around the edges of the photo just to make it a little bit rough looking. Okay, like so. Okay, so now he's a little bit, he looks a little bit more vintage, a little bit older than he did before. And I am going to try and center him here because I have to remember, I want to punch a little hole up there. If you can see, I've punched holes in all of the tags because I'm either going to put them together on a ring or I might just add some um, like raffia or something to them. All right, and I'm going to staple him on too. I'm going to make sure he's in the middle and I want to make sure that I have room for his ears and I'm pretty sure that we do. And I'm just going to go around and I'm going to staple him on like this and see how quick these go well once you do all the um quote unquote dirty work unless you want to use an oops sorry a digital image or um already pre-made um cardstock you don't have to start with all the inking on a blank tag and all of that but uh that's what i did all right let's see what can we put here how about all opinions will be ignored in the order in which they were received. Now, that's a lot of words, but I think we can fit it. If we cut it apart just the right way, we'll give it a shot. And what we'll do is we'll start by cutting this into three sections. We're just going to cut off this part. All opinions will be, and I'm just going to, Tap that on there. All opinions will be. Okay, we're going to have to cut that in half. Oops. Uh-oh, I lost some of my words. You're going to have to listen to my squeaky chair when I bend over to pick it up. But let's get started with this. And let's just ink the edges all the way around since we're going to have to do that anyway. And once we cut it apart, We'll ink the edges that still need to be done. Okay, let's just say all opinions will be. Let's grab a hold of that. Okay, stid it on my scissor so it doesn't go anywhere. And let's just ink that there. And we'll start up pretty high up here. We'll put all opinions and then we'll grab will be, and we're going to ink that edge there too, and we'll just put this, will be, and let me find my rest of my words. You got to listen to my noisy chair. Oh, and I know I just bumped you. Okay, got the rest of my words here. Let me slide back in to the table. Okay. 
All right. And what do we have left here? Ignored in ignored in the order in which they were received. Okay. We're going to have to maybe do a little squish in here. But that's okay. We're going to fix it. We're going to fit it all in. All right. So we're going to do the next line of words. And we're going to carefully put that one down. We're going to ink around it. And then when we're done, we'll put his little ears on. And let's snip this off. We don't really need that part here. And we don't really need that part here. And let's just snip that in half here. Okay. And put that there. And let's finish inking this. Will be ignored in, okay, the or We got cut off. If you didn't watch Tim's video, I figured it would be just a little bit something fun that we could do. And I have another video pending on my phone and I took a chance and I said, let me try to do another video Okay, okay, which they, all right, well, let's get a hold of that. Okay, in which they, let's ink around here real quick. See, when you, when you have the small talk um, in the, the snarky comments in the big talk, the words are a little bit bigger, and so you kind of have to adjust. But I kind of look the, like the way it looks. It kind of it looks like a cartoon. Okay, let's just do that real quick. Let me get that. Okay, see we fit it all in. All opinions will be ignored in the order in which they were received, which is a part of the all and create die. And then we'll put his little ears on, and we will be done. Um, we didn't mass make, but I did. And so now you can, and I'm going to put a little glue all around this. At least now you can see how to do it. And I hope you'll give it a try. It is kind of fun. Okay. And again, I will try to show you all the ones that I made. Let me put this on here. Like so. These kind of fit together, but it it doesn't really matter if you get it in any particular spot or not with this die set. At least I don't think it does. I guess, you know, you there we go. Okay. So now we have our little tag together. And let's grab one of our little bunnies. If I can get a hold of one. Oh, there we go. And I'm just going to quick ink around his ears like so. This video might end up a little bit choppy because as I started to say, I do have another big video pending on here um, for another mass make that I wanted to do. And so there might not be enough room on my phone for all of them to be on here at once. So let's get his little ears off and I'll list the dies that I used and everything underneath. I'm pretty sure that the bunny dye that I used for this is still available. Um, I think I only just bought this a year or so ago. Let's ink that other edge there. And so it, it should be available. I haven't really looked, but yeah, all right. Like I said, you can use whatever bunny things you might have. If you have a die um, cut, if you have a stamp that you want to cut out and use instead of using a die, you could do that by all means. You did see on my video the other day um, where I stamped and colored and cut out a whole bunch of different images. And yeah, you can do that too. All right, let's put a little glue on this. And let's put this other ear on him, like so. 
Now, how silly does he look? I just thought that these were so much fun. <laughs> and I, I just, I had to try them. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do a little video. There you go. All opinions will be ignored in the order in which they were received. So how do you like him? Okay, and let's grab... Oh my goodness, where did I just put it? It's probably right in... There it is. It's right in front of my face. Let's grab out my crocodile and pop a little hole in him. And there we go. And he's done too. So yeah, I, I hope you'll go and try this. I know it's a quick little video for what's supposed to be a mass make, but who says that we have to make 400 of something on the camera? So we made this one and we made that one. This is the one that I made without you. And this is the one I made that isn't even a tag. I just had to play. And there we go. Step aside, coffee. This is a job for alcohol. I think my guardian angel drinks. If you ever need a slightly distracted, unsympathetic friend, I'm here for you. I would like to confirm I do not care. I'm sorry. Did I just roll my eyes out loud? <laughs> we saw this one. That's a horrible idea. What time? I'm starting to think I will never know better. Don't make me say something I won't regret. So yeah, <laughs> guys, I hope you'll try that. Whether you make your own die cut dies like this, or if you make dies by cutting them out like you've seen me do before, or if you happen to own any of the um, distress tags, go for it. And I still have some tags left and I might make a few more and you can use your own reinforcements. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys will try this and I hope you thought it was fun. I hope it wasn't too much of a, a bother when we started to get interrupted. I do have this little, um, Victorian lady that I, uh, <laughs> gave her some ears, but I can't quite figure out if I'm going to like her on a tag. Although now that I have the distress tags, I may just put her on here and add something snarky for her. How about this one? I'm a rainbow sprinkle in a vanilla world. What do you think, guys? <laughs> but anyway, I hope you'll, you'll go over and you'll try it. Um, as I said, you don't have to have everything that I have, the snarky and, and these fancy tags or the die cuts. You could use, I'm just trying to find a, a plain old tag that I might just have laying around. Well, here's a half a tag. You know, and this one, I, cu I actually cut out these corners by myself. I just cut them out and I made a small little tag. So yeah, I hope you'll try it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm sending you lots of love and big hugs. And please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will talk to you soon. As I said in my other video, I have some other mass makes planned. And even though it'll be a lot to look at, we'll probably only make one or two. I don't want you guys to get too bored with whatever we're making. So yeah, I will see you soon. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night, wherever you are. Lots of love, big hugs. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.